Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager with Autodesk. This is Tips and Tricks number six in a series of video that I have created on popular tool sets. In this small video, I want to show you how to really fine tune the look of your character in your scene. So far, we have generated characters and used them randomly in our scene without really wanting to fine tune the character to give us specific motion or looks. If I focus on this woman, for example, she's wearing a gray outfit and there's not a lot of contrast within the background that she's in. So I might want to loop through different outfit or different look for this particular woman. To do so, you select the mesh and you click on Regenerate Selected. By doing so, you'll be able to loop through different looks for this particular character. Now, the other thing you might want to fine tune is the particular motion for this character. Right now, she's walking around, talking on a cell phone, and that might not be the motion that I want for this particular area in my scene. If I isolate this character, it'll be easier to understand. So as long as you have the idle area environment object selected and go to the control panel samples area, you'll have access to the motion panel. So if you loop through different number, right now it's all set up to number 111, but if you loop through number 2, for example, or number 3, you'll be looping through different motion that are available for this character. Now, by changing these properties, you'll need to re-simulate in order to uh, update these uh, number, like the looping motion number. So let's say number four here, re-simulate, and I have access to a different motion. So there's different things you can change in the samples um, properties, uh, things such as motion, Orientation is also another one because the motion might be good, but the orientation might not be exactly what you're looking for. So let's say I'm going to loop through the orientation and you'll notice that the pink icon is orbiting around about 15 degrees per number. So here I can change the orientation of this particular character in my scene. So there's few things that like this that you can fine tune and really find the perfect character for the scenario that you're looking for, as well as the perfect outfit and orientation. So those are all fine tuning when you're up close from a character to really find what you need specifically for your scene. The other thing I want to quickly mention, if you're an advanced user and want to be more efficient with 3ds Max design, when you are creating a flow, um, I've mentioned in earlier tips and tricks that you need to go to the control panel in order to access the flow points or flow segment. Now, if you go under edit mode within the populate tool set, you notice here I have in the control panel flow points and flow segment, but really the only thing that you have to do is hover over the segment or the point in order to find this selection. So if I have my move tool here and I hover over the point, I can move that point without having to go and select it in the control panel. Same thing for selecting a segment. I hover over the segment, I click on the segment and I have access to the move tool or uh, any tools that I have. So hovering over the segments or the point will give me access without having to go to the control panel. So it's a way of working that is a bit more efficient and it becomes a lot more intuitive to work that way. So something to keep in mind if you want to work faster while creating your flows with the Poplate tool sets.